welcome to this edition of Buncombe Life, and man, are you in for a treat. As you can tell, I'm here on the Biltmore Estate, one of my favorite places on the planet, without a doubt. I love it here. We, uh, if you've watched some more of our episodes, you've seen we've been doing some specials on solar energy. Uh, you know, the county put the solar panels up on top of 40 cocks, and you've probably seen that. If you haven't, you need to get that episode. Uh, I thought it was very interesting. We, if you have been driving down the interstate, you've also noticed that the Biltmore Estate has put a few solar panels out on some of their acreage, and they were uh, nice enough to come and give us a tour of those solar panels. It was an amazing tour. Um, and you're going to see it next, because that's where we're headed. You're going to get the inside scoop on how many are out there, why they're out there, and some of the amazing things Biltmore Estate is doing to be green right here in Buncombe County. So stay tuned. I am here on the Biltmore Estate with Chuck Pickering, who is, and I'm going to have to use my cheat notes here, the uh, head of agriculture and government relations for Biltmore Estate. Is that right? That's right. Well, we just appreciate you letting us come oh. here because I know you can see behind me. Wow. There is a lot of solar panels out here. Chuck, tell me, what are you doing? How many's out here and what are you doing? Well, this was all part of the original vision that Olmstead and Hunt had in, um, in Vanderbilt had to make Biltmore a sustainable estate. And so what we've done here is to um, use the, the best in technology that we could find mm -hmm. to help Biltmore become more sustainable. And this is, uh, we have 5,008 panels out here. And uh, each of these racks that you see has uh, 28 panels on them. And I think we have about 169 racks out here. What this does is supplies about a third of the energy for Biltmore State. And so this feeds directly into Antler Hill Village. And so we're using everything that we're producing here, and that's called net metering. Yeah. So uh, it's going directly into our, our village. Yeah. And so uh, we're, we're really excited about it. That is exciting. And if you can hear some noise behind us, it's because the uh, interstate is right there. And I know if you've been driving out here, you've seen these panels. I know I come by, the first time I saw them, I thought, what is that? It is even more impressive when you're out here. 5,008 of these. If you watched us last month, up on top of 40 Cox, that was 16 little water solar kind of panels. These are electric panels. And that's what I want you to tell me about. But let's, let's walk further away from the road here and see if we can get away from some of this noise. And then I want you to explain to me what exactly this does and how it does help the estate. Sure. Okay. Be happy to. Okay, we've come up the hill. Uh, what you were saying before is all those solar panels from, from down near the road. We've come up here. It's much quieter up here, I yes. have to say. But now I, you've got to explain to me how all this works. It, it's just, it's almost overwhelming to see all these panels and then the little individual panels that suck in the light. Explain to me how that, and, and even on a day like this where there's really, you can't see the sun, but it's working. Tell me, explain that to me. How does that work? Well, the... We picked this spot because it has great orientation for the sun. And so we don't have to have any moving so solar panels. So everything's stationary. We looked at quite a few sites around the estate. And four <laughs> years ago when we started this, the same project yeah. on a flatter piece would have taken us about 17 acres. But because of the engineering that went into this, that each of these rows is set so that even when the sun's at the lowest in the winter right. possible that the shadow comes just to the edge of the next panel. So we're able to make this, so the, the topography helped a lot in condensing the amount of land that it took for this. To get the maximum amount of sun right. into, those, into those panels. So, and, and to take up the least amount of ground space to do a 1.2 right. megawatt system. Right, now 1.2 megawatt system. This, okay, the sun, those little panels suck the sun into those little tubes right. and get the power. But what is 1.2 megawatts? What does that really mean? Is that a lot, a little? Uh, that's, that's a lot of power. So that's um, <clears throat> each of these systems. We have two different systems here. So each of these is taking in about uh, 500 kilowatt hours. What this, this does, this will supply 
a third of our energy on the estate, like I said, for Antler Hill Village. So this will give us a cost savings of about $200,000 a year. Wow. And so um, what each of these panels do, these are, these are Bosch engineered solar cells. And we went with Bosch because they had a good history in Europe with snow. And, and Bosch is a, a very high performing company. So each of these 28 panels on a rack the uh, the solar the, the cells capture the sun, the energy from the sun, and take it into a uh, converter box. Right. And so, each seven of these racks go into a converter box, mm -hmm. which uh, like there's one right there. We have one back here, yeah. <clears throat> and then each of those converter box uh, has a cable that comes into the into this machine right here. Mm -hmm. So it's taking direct current power that it collects from the sun, right. it's going into here and it's, it's taking it through a system where it's chopping it into alternating current. Right. So as it goes into, changes into alternating current, that goes into the green transformers over here, mm -hmm. which tie into the uh, progress energy side of right. so, our, our system. So that goes back to progress energy. Well. It's not going in into the grid. It's it's going right up here to where our meter is with Progress Energy, yeah. and it goes straight in to Antler Hill Village. Okay. And so uh, then Progress Energy supplements whatever energy we need coming into the village as well as uh, the rest of the estate. So it's self-sufficient on the estate. So you produce it and you use it. Right, so that's what we're trying to do is to produce 100% of our, yeah. our energy and our food. Mm -hmm. So those are two of the things that we're working on in agriculture now. And we work with uh, North Carolina on the North Carolina 10% for yeah. your food and 10% yeah. uh, of our energy. And so we've really exceeded our energy goal yeah. uh, immediately with this. So what we'll do, we'll continue to look at um, other opportunities with solar, mm -hmm. with solar thermal. Uh, we're looking at our winery right right, right now mm -hmm. to be able to do uh, hot water yeah. solar thermal there. So um, you know, there's there's some good opportunities. So just as the estate's always been on the cutting edge of technology, mm -hmm. we're trying to continue to, that today with um, energy production and with mm -hmm. food production. Yeah, and you say the state's always been. Even, even when the estate was built, it was on the cutting edge. So some of the things that Vanderbilt and Olmsted did, they did yeah. uh, some of the first sustainable forestry in America mm -hmm. where they could show that you could do forestry, preserve your forest for re recreation and mm -hmm. wildlife, as well as making it a productive forest. Yeah. Then um, Edith Vanderbilt, she got very involved with the North Carolina State Fair mm -hmm. and uh, really implemented sustainable agricultural practices here with soil mm -hmm. conservation. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot with soil conservation. And yeah. So um, in, in 2006, we really kicked off and we've certainly been in touch with the county and city yeah. as far as our sustainable efforts. Oh, yeah. And um, you know, some of the things we, we keep doing, we've uh, set up our employee environmental teams. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of reusing. Uh, recycling are big things. Our field to table program's big. Yeah, that's and huge. That's one thing we hope to do here is to use this, keep it in agriculture, and to be able to free range chickens here. So mm -hmm. we have a couple of chicken yeah. tractors that we already have in place yeah. that are portable units mm -hmm. so that uh, you can move them around and graze the land. And then we use the egg production for some of our restaurants at Cedric's is, and at the end. That is so, too cool. I yeah, love so that. This, uh, this will be a large production area for, for free ranging chickens. Yeah. And we have a historic house up here that we're looking mm -hmm. at restoring to make yeah. that operation happen. Yeah. Now you've got 5,000 solar panels here getting a big percentage of your producing your own energy. Do you uh, think you'll expand into any more solar panels or you think you'll go in a different direction? Well, Solar seems to be the, the most ef efficient right now. Um, we've identified a few other places uh, mm -hmm. where it could possibly happen. One thing that we're always looking at are certainly for views from the Biltmore House so that we preserve all those right. views. So that's always in the consideration. This one really operational, functional, mm -hmm. see how efficient it is. So mm -hmm. far they're telling us this is a, a highly efficient system and mm -hmm. our orientation here is picking up a lot more 
sun or a lot more energy than mm -hmm. even anticipated in the winter months. Well, it, as you as you guys will see on the on the video, it's picking it up today, and I'm not feeling it. I, I have to say, I, I do not feel the sun out here. I know. And, and it's, <laughs> it's still pulling down that yeah, that amazing it, light. It's pulling up the light, and I I think today it's. It's probably borderline right now. As I mentioned, we have one system that's on. Yeah. Uh, this one will have to get up a little higher before it, it kicks on. Yeah. So, but we have some beautiful sunny days. It makes that thing really run, I bet. And, you know, what we found out that this area of, of the country is one of the great collecting areas for, yeah. for solar as well. So yeah. it's a, uh, you know, it's exciting to, uh, you know, work through these things. Yeah. and look at policy how you know going forward mm -hmm. how policy impacts the ability to do these things is what we work yeah. with a lot of people in the community on yeah well i think it's it's just wonderful and it's so amazing to see this many doing this good and you're using it here on the estate to be self-sufficient that is so cool well we appreciate buncombe county support and getting this thing going too because mm -hmm. not many people have done net metering so mm -hmm. it's it's been a uh, learning lesson for yeah. all of us involved so yeah. so far so good well keep us in the loop if you do some more right. let us know well thank you for coming yeah, out thank you and, uh, good luck with your projects <laughs> at the county those sound exciting hey we'll we'll keep all of our viewers up to date on what's going on and thank you for watching always we love coming to the estate i love coming over here and we love to know what projects you're doing so we will keep you up to date stay tuned i hope you enjoyed that tour but let me just stop before i go any further is that not awesome beautiful it's just so beautiful here on the estate if you've never come please come take a tour check it out and then be proud of the fact that Vanderbilt and Biltmore have an amazing history here in Buncombe County and we just gave you a tiny little peek into what they're doing today to be green just like they were a hundred years ago it is awesome the more you look into it I think the more you'll be amazed let me just recap what he said five thousand and eight solar panels, taking a third of the electricity off the grid because they're keeping it here. They're not even using it. That helps all of us here in Buncombe County. And that's just one of the small things that he actually told us off camera that they're doing here at Biltmore. It's, it really is amazing how they are turning themselves into being self-sufficient with their food, uh, with their solar energy. It is awesome. It really is a wonderful attraction here. Another thing that you heard him mention in the video is how uh, over a hundred years ago when they opened the house that they created their own electricity. And he said, I'll get you more inform information about that. Well, he did. And it, it is kind of amazing when you think about it. Over a hundred years ago, this huge house was wired for lights and um, electricity and heat when nobody had that. That was something you just didn't hear about. And they were already wired for it and then began producing their own electricity so they could actually have it here uh, self-sufficient on the estate, just like what he was talking to us about, about the solar power. So it really is just amazing. And I urge you to come out. If you've never been to Biltmore, please come out and enjoy it one day. Summer is a great time to check it out. Although you can see even here today with the leaves off the trees, it's beautiful. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned next time for Buncombe Life.